Hi, welcome back to Bonesaw's Garage. I know it's been a while since I put up a video, but uh, just between waiting for parts, uh, personal reasons, work, vacation, everything, I've uh, just been busy with other things, but I'm making progress on the Camaro. I don't know how much you can see, but the engine's bolted in. I had a lot of problems with uh, motor mounts not wanting to line up. Uh, if you have a 82 to 92 Camaro, and you try to order the Jegster solid motor mounts. They say they fit the 82 to 90 Camaros, but they do not. I've addressed it with Jegs, and they really haven't done anything for me. Wish they could. Uh, I've never had a problem with them before, but just something to keep in mind. As I get closer to finishing the car, uh, because I bought a crate motor, and this is something that you should do whether it's a crate motor or one that you've rebuilt, is I'm getting ready to prime the motor. Now you want to prime or pre-lube the motor before you go to start it. Uh, if for a crate motor, it's been drained before shipping, so there might be a slight film of oil in there, but it's not, the lifters aren't pumped up, or there's not enough oil to keep it from causing scoring. On a brand new rebuilt motor, there's definitely no mo oil in there. So to prime a motor, uh, first thing you want to do is make sure you get the right motor oil. Uh, for my vehicle, I'm using comp cams brake in oil because it's got extra zinc in it because I'm running a hydraulic flat type of cam. I would have loved to go with a hydraulic roller cam but I just don't have the money for that. Um, you want to look for brake in oil that has that extra zinc. If you have a roller cam it's not a big deal but the zinc creates an extra barrier or layer that helps that wear surface mate to each other rather than digging in and causing gouges and problems. So um, using the cop cams brake in oil I've never used it before, but I've heard good things about it, and it's fairly inexpensive. It was about five bucks a quart through Summit Racing, uh, which is really, really good. Uh, I could have bought it locally here in town, but every place that I found it here in town, it's like ten bucks a quart. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, when you're getting ready to prime the motor, you're going to need an oil pump priming tool uh, like this one. This is from Proform. Uh, it was about fifteen dollars. Now they sell cheaper ones that don't have this piece here, it's just the rod. Um, you can use those. The downside to it is that this piece here seals inside of the motor and helps get extra oil to your cam and lifters and everything. So I would highly recommend spending the extra money to have one that has this piece. Uh, different motors are going to be different. This one's specifically for a small block Chevy. Um, but all you do is you put it down through your distributor hole as you can see, it's got a spline here that splines into your oil pump drive shaft. Then you just put an electric drill on this, and it'll spin it and get it going. Now, as you spin it, you're going to create oil pressure. And to make sure you have good oil pressure, use a quality mechanical oil pressure gauge. Do not use an electric one simply because it's it's just easier to have this one tube hooked up to it. You know, you know you're getting direct oil pressure. You don't have to worry about a bad sensor or anything like that. This one is a Bosch uh, oil pressure gauge. I bought the entire set. It was only $30 for um, water, volts, and oil pressure. Um, again, I'm not sponsored by anybody, so all these, pl uh, all these parts and pieces are just recommendations that I've looked up on the internet and that I've found. So I'm going to go and prime the motor. That's been today's tip, and that's where we're at with the car. Um, I'll try to move a little bit so you can see. Sorry, it's going to be shaky. As you can see, everything's bolted in. Uh, I'm getting a lot closer to everything being done. It's just going a lot slower than I wish it would. And that's all i got time for now. I'll talk to you all later.